Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how to tie uh, another temple dog style fly. Um, it's just going to be made up as I go along, so it's going to be based on uh, Wilkinson's shrimp colours. So the tag is going to be silver holographic. I just like using holographic because the tail, the floss tail sits better. Um, whereas the oval silver seems to kink it up and uh, sort of a strange it sort of doesn't sit right so tie the tag in like before and come back four mil over your thread with the wee touch of super glue then wind your tag back up a couple of turns so you can always come over your tag a bit because it's flat so wherever you want at the end you can adjust it probably about four or five mil for the tag um, for the tail, I'm going to be using uh, pink uh, yarn. I think it's magenta. Um, it's glow bright yarn. It's number one. It's uh, a real bright, a real bright pink. So what one is the the tail is made up of three strands. So I doubled one. A loop and then I folded the tail back on itself so I'm going to catch this in just here and I'm going to wind down the, towards the eye till about two thirds of the way down and then I'm going to trim the, trim the excess out Good sharp pair of scissors. So at this point I'm just going to cut the lip and brush. just give the fibres and the tail a wee brush with the velcro. I'm going to get my uh, big razor scissors again. I'm going to taper this tail out. So I'll start at the bottom. taper your tail. It doesn't need to be perfect but it's just they can all end up slightly different anyway so it's just to give you a more balanced looking fly. If it was cut off completely square and straight it would, just wouldn't look right. Uh, so we're going to go with a silver wire in this. Tie it underneath bring your thread back up tight against your against your tag and we're probably going to go with maybe go with this Vivas this is a large Vivas tinsel I got and I haven't tried it yet so I'll maybe make the body out of that I was going to use flat braid and silver but maybe try this would be very good the Vivas tinsel so this is a large and I'll go up to the front and tie this one underneath and on the way back down I'll try and be fussy with the fussy with the thread wrap so I'll cover the worst of the pink whilst trying to keep the body reasonably flat and uniform so there's no humps or bumps there's a few humps and bumps as I can work out I'm going to super glue the, the top half of this thread and just let it seep in in that case I didn't really need the didn't really need the wire rib that I tied in but oh, that's, that's a really nice tinsel on that really nice quality so I'm just going to come to 
feet. Right there. Actually, I'm going to go back one wrap and tie that off. Because this is the large, it's quite, quite heavy. It's very, very heavy duty. You see there that when you pull the, the tinsel, oh, it's very, very strong. Yep, that's definitely very, very strong. Strong oval tinsel. And for the body on this, I'm going to use a, a purple hackle, if I can find it. And this is a Chinese neck. Again, fibre length doesn't have to be overly long. something in around this length so I'm going to palmer this up the body and I'm going to tie it off with the I'm going to rip up the oval with the silver wire and just see what that looks like as I say this is just being made up as a go so I haven't tried this fly before or anything like that so the hackle should sit under the tinsel. And the wire should also get a grip on it on the way up. It should sit under any of the, the grooves. So that's it caught. And just wind your wire up. Try not to catch too many. Too many fibers. Once you've caught them, bend and break your wire off. Turn away your tip section here. The colors of that are, are nice. Just tie this up a bit here. So the underwing in this is going to be a uh, silver doctor. Silver Doctor Blue, and I'm going to tie it in reverse again. So, this is quite under for this bit of fox, but it'll be, it'll be nice. And we're going to go with that sort of length again just by the tips of the, the tail, floss tail. So I'm going to trim, trim it the length and tie it in in reverse again. So. Let the fibres protrude out over the eye. And tie them in with three or four good securing wraps. And then put a few turns in front. Try not to go over. I will want to kick up, um, but that's, that's fine. Next step is going to be some flash. So, the flash I'm going to use for this is again, it's Future Fly, and this is Midnight Star. And it's magenta, blue, purple. Lovely, lovely colours in it. So, again, about it's probably about too much strand or too many strands, but we're going to go with it. Um, there's probably about seven or eight strands there, so get a couple of turns in and then double the rest up, try and keep them in the middle. And again, just cut them to taper. A few extra there, so we'll keep them for the next fly. And I say the wing's sticking up badly here, but We'll not worry about that. It will sit. It will stay sweet and back like that. Um, the next section is um, a hackle. It's going to go with a pink. Sorry, I'm going to go with a, a blue hackle as well. So this is a hen. It's Kingfisher Blue. I'm going to go for a 
mediumish length. So I'll tie this in with the tip. Put a rope. I'm going to give two turns. So so let's fold the fibers. Two turns. And this will help the, the wing to stay back. Keep your second turn tight in front of that, the first one. So you don't run out of rim. You need the rim here to keep a neat head and for the other the other hackle and the other part of the wing jungle cut. Next part of this wing is this is from Foxy's and it's I'm nearly sure it's shock and pink or else it's magenta. I'm not just entirely sure. But I want the fibres slightly longer than the than the blue. So I'm gonna tie this in on top. Just make sure it's lined up and sitting nicely on top of the whole lot. I'll shorten it in a wee bit, a wee bit of wax in the thread. Just make sure everything's nice and secure. At this point I'm going to go in and trim away the waist. So. Next thing is Very fine bit of very very light piece of Arctic Fox in black. This is going to go right up over the top. It's just to provide a, a bit of definition at the top of the wing. Because it's black it will it should work work in okay. Make sure it's right on the centre at the top too. Sitting evenly each side. Don't want it slipping down one way or another. So at this point I'm gonna trim it away. Tidy up. The next thing is going to be a couple of strands of peacock curl. Find it. There we go. So here we go. Three or four strands. But four strands. the same length they can be a wee bit they can be anyway a wee bit but we'll try and keep them roughly the same length sometimes these have to be tied in a couple of those you know two at a time because these can't play a bite on you I don't think we're gonna get get away with that the first time sometimes it doesn't work out like that but tie if they're sitting right we'll tie them in securely and then that's The next thing is a the pink hackle. This is a pink hen. It's slightly shorter in length probably than the blue. Just gonna tie it into the tip. And find it a couple of turns on. So strip away the flu so we don't get that caught up in it. The, the hackle nice and taut. You get your first turn tied up against the the wing that you've just tied in. Or the, yeah, the black part of the wing. And then try and get your second turn tight to that. Tied up against your first turn. This hackle's playing about. Keep it under control. 
control at this point tie it off underneath and get a few turns in and trim away the waste so this is a heavily dressed fly quite heavy and very very bright so I'm just going to tidy up a bit more at this stage probably put a couple of jungle cock eyes in so I don't have any in magenta that are big enough I do have a wee magenta but the feathers wouldn't be big enough so I'll probably just use off this standard this natural cape here just pull two feathers off and again these are going to sit well under the wing so they're not very very small feathers but do a couple of turns and then you can position the the feathers. So I'm just going to hold that in place. And I just want to check these two off each other. Right to me they're sitting almost perfectly. I'd say that's perfect there. So if you're happy with them, double the, come down a couple more turns and then double the stalks backing themselves and for the Wilkinson for me there's no other colour for the head apart from bright red so straight in and whip finish three or four turns trim away your waist thread and then trim away your the jungle cock stocks nice and tight So the choice of blue or blue or red for the head and for me to be honest it's going off to the, the, the bright red so Let's see if I stop this floss from slipping down I'll try that again I think we've got it this time. Put our floss right out and take whatever you're comfortable with. I think four turns is about right for that. I've just nipped one fibre with the hackle, but that's okay. And all you're left to do is cut a couple of coats of varnish or a coat of UV resin. So. That's basically the finished fly then, so that's a temple dog and a Wilkinson sort of a style, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching.